should work on paper, right? Cinder should have the shove. Kane should have the shove. A uh, odd draft. But I mean, this is... Because that's how they win the game, right? Is yeah. it Hannah's strong? So he's going to try and taxi over to Cuz. Good face breaker there. And this is first blood oh so easily. And I didn't... Ooh. I thought they would maybe go for that dive, but I guess they don't know exactly where the set is, where oh. he is here. We know where he is now as he comes back around. That's the Unleash Powers closer. He's going to run away. Spirit looking to chase after him. There's the ulti. My god, the damage. Possible. Spirit clears that one out. Once again, we're sort of looking to try and push forward. Cuz in the area. Gonna sweep it out. Knows that there's no vision. They are going to go for another engage. Okay, Dawning Shadow comes down. The boot back from Kane is now they're going to turn their attention to Spirit. Face Breaker comes in, and Spirit is going to be taken down. And maybe, no, Kane is going to survive for the moment. Flash out from Jelly, throws out the Lantern. Very nicely done to make sure that Fly isn't going to die. Uh, he walks back in here trying to look for autos. <gasps> doesn't work as Mystic. Oh my god, the Flash Hook was so sick out of effort. That's going to proc his Aftershock so he doesn't take any damage from the turret either. No snare to land, but damn, that looked cool. Cleanse out bottom side. Is Teddy going aggressive? Teleport him from Kana. As uh, I've seen oh, this movie dead. before. <laughs> the flayback comes in. That was a very, very interesting uh, chain of events. But Dawning Shadow comes down. Double kill for Teddy. He's making Senna look like a hard carry, even at level 8. Stronger teams are just not going to let you do that. They're going to shut you down exactly what T1 has done today. Oh, Closer looking for a bubble as there's the engage. Spirit jumps onto Cuz. Haymaker going to keep himself alive as Depth Charge comes in but doesn't get a lot of value. Teddy with a fair bit over the top of a Freaker is now missed it, getting chunked. Big paddle star from Closer. He needs to keep landing these as Jelly's going to get hit by one as well. Good. Okay, ulti comes in. The showstopper into the back line. It's Cuz finds all the value possible. And now Closer looking for the cleanup. Sparkles everywhere, bounces over, finds Mystic as Jelly oh. is eventually able to take him down. It's in fact Keen that grabs the kill. Now Kana is going to jump onto Jelly. The spirit is behind the turret. Teddy goes golden. Keen should be able to find this one. Oh, not actually going to happen oh. as Teddy limping away. Not even close, baby. And they get healed back up, ready to siege once again. And they can siege very well with this composition as Spirit. Going to find Cuz. But uh, they're not too worried about that one. And here's the dive. Oh. Massive CC is Fly. The first one to fall down. Playback onto Cuz. But he gets the face breaker. There's the showstopper into the back line. Spirit trying to be the big bear. Does get himself the crocodile. But unfortunately, the fight felt like it had already been lost. As only two from Afrika remain. Here very nicely done. As what? Um, what? Yeah, I know exactly why Mystic was there. Got denied for a little bit and then ended up not mattering as Mystic was pretty far down. And yeah, double TP comes in here. He's like, well, I'm, I'm just dead. Yeah, he is. He yeah. really did. <laughs> he had Flash and he had Blends, so I actually respect the fact that he held on to both of them. And Teddy's getting very close towards that rapid fire cannon. T1 just rotating around. Arrow is going to connect, but Effort probably pretty happy to tank that one up as the flash forward. The hook is going to come back, and Effort is going to fall. Now T1 are on the run. Spirit looking for more. Showstopper right into the back line. Oh, fly almost one shot by this mega fed set. Spirit has to flash away. This is 4v5, ladies and gentlemen, but it doesn't look like a bubble connects onto Mystic. And oh. uh, Closer goes golden, denies the unleashed power. And the Shock Blast isn't going to connect. Some low health bars, but T1 still push a Freaker out. Let's see where, whether he can uh, collect one from a random drop or something like that. Is uh, T1 just going to start off the Baron, but uh, Hawkshot does spot that one out. So this is done with full vision for a Freaker. Cannot take him some popcorn chicken. Bear against Crocodile action. Now T1. Feel like they've baited a Freaker in like they want to. You can see they are so healthy, and they are just keeping it leashed. Afrika can't actually see the Ooh. health bar. They get a glimpse of it. As Cuz is going to hop on out. Showstopper available. Kana finds the backline. Keen in trouble. The big crocodile goes golden, but there's the arrow. It is going to connect, but it connects onto Evan oh. as the showstopper gets into the back again. And Fly has to flash out of position. Teddy flashes after him. This is going to be the ace. As Spirit, the last one to fall down. And I think the T1 don't need to worry about it, Baron. I think they can just win the game. Yep, they're going to do that right now. They're going to push down the top lane. Oh, no, they're going to go mid. They have more minions there as effort. Nearly dies, but he will survive. At the end of the day, T1 kind of smacking them with their wallets as 
the cuz player of the game. Hopefully he gets redeemed here in game number two. I would be very sad if he didn't get one today as he just outclassed Spirit in pretty much every way uh, in both games. So yeah. good to see it from Cuz. Definitely a good look as he has struggled a little bit here in summer, but certainly is back as GG. That will be game number two, T1 with the clean 2-0 tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised actually that Set didn't do more damage, but I guess that the consistent damage from Teddy